mainstream artist um, back in the day. I used to rap with my friends and we used to rap about a whole lot of crazy stuff. I first won the award back in 2013. Um, I was just like on the come up because I just released my album um, in the year 2012. So 2013, I'm winning Artist of the Year. Being at the Crowns was like a great experience because the other year I was watching the Crowns and my mom was telling me, you, you, you should be there. Yeah. My name is Sandile Mkulisi Kumalo. I live in, in Msunduza. I'm 26 years old. I'm currently studying at the University of Swaziland, uh, a degree in social sciences, and I'm a gospel hip hop artist. Uh, the name switch came about when I was still young, me and my friends, you know, we had a lot of plans growing up. And um, I used to change a lot of plans me and my friends had, you know, so one of my friends once said, I'm probably gonna switch the plans that we have on our daily basis. But then um, I think um, when I told my friends I wanted to do hip hop and be a rapper, they, they told me that you're probably gonna want to switch that again. So I was just like, uh, maybe the name switch makes a whole lot of sense. Um, I was a mainstream artist um, back in the day. I used to rap with my friends and we used to rap about a whole lot of crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we rapped about the girls, the booze, and the crazy weekends. Yeah. So, um, until I got saved around about 20, the year 2010, and I was like, okay, maybe now that's good because I was in church. I wanted to actually showcase my talent because mm -hmm. I really loved hip hop and I really loved to rap. I didn't want to quit that even if I was a Christian. Mm -hmm. So I got exposed to Christian hip hop. I was like, well, that is where I want to be. Then, yeah, I got there. Then that's how I switch to gospel. Um, I go to the Alliance Church in Babani. Um, my pastor's Reverend JV Mazibubo. Um, he's like a great pastor. I feel like if my pastor didn't give me an opportunity back then, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be here. Because when I was starting, I was very much afraid of how people are going to receive yeah, yeah. what I do. Yeah. So um, Mazibubo was more or less like throwing me in a pool of sharks. It was like Anytime there was a church conference with a lot of people, like I want you to perform. The Alliance Church in Babani has very much been supportive throughout my whole career. Like they buy my CDs, parents buy their children my mu uh, my CDs and my music. So it's well, it's like a whole family for me, and I'm happy to be where I am right now. And actually, not only being switched in church, but also being. Um, a child of God in that church. When I first won the award back in 2013, um, I was just like on the come up because I just released my album um, in the year 2012. So 2013, I'm winning Artist of the Year, Hip Hop Artist of the Year against like Swaziland's well-known artists, your courtesy of hip hop, your mosaic, and they decided to give Switch the award and I was gospel and the National Arts and Culture Awards are not actually gospel awards, you know. So mm -hmm. I was just that 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 guy that had just won Hip Hop Artist of the Year, and he rapped about God, <laughs> and uh, it was really like a crazy moment. Yeah. But when I won it in 2015, like I w I had lived, you know, I'd rapped uh, more, I'd I'd you know traveled more, so more more people knew about me now. So winning the award was just like okay, switch is actually a problem switch is actually one artist that even if he raps about god but he's giving mainstream rappers um you know uh the time they run for their, run for their money yeah, yeah. they yeah. run for their money and uh, they cannot sleep on me being at the crowns was like a great experience because the other year i was watching the crowns and my mom was telling me you 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 should be there you know wow. i believe if you can get to meet Magen Bogazi. The, the founder of the crowns you you could go far i was just like ah oh, man that's another dream but uh i think because i do what i do and it's so much different from anybody else um i got the opportunity to meet Magen bogazi she wow. liked my music she called me out to come to not only the crowns i was also in pretoria to do the trumpet africa gospel music awards oh, wow. so i was there and i got to go to the crowns travel to botswana still on that same wave so being at the Crowns, I was backstage chilling with like all the artists that I look up to, your Dr. Dumis, I was performing with Kayam Tetua, I was chilling backstage with Jesse Kangosi. Like all these people I was able to mingle with and just talk about music and 
actually build relationships so um for me it was like a great experience like i was that i felt like a superstar for wow. once in my life like from the hotel to the stage mm. and how you have people just taking care of you and making sure that you 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 are you're okay even if you're from swaziland but if mm. you're on that stage they give you mad respect i, I want to do rap for now because i, I love it very much mm -hmm. um but that's the, the reason i'm also at school is because i really want to you know see where i can get to with a with a future and actually tackling in politics in, in the country mm -hmm. and actually learners as much as getting a phd or masters but then yeah i think i'll i still have one album left in me mm -hmm. and i think i'll release that album the day i graduate so the day I graduate, I'm releasing my last and final album. I, I just want to do a lot, man. I, that, it doesn't only has, have to be only on my music side, but in the in the next years, I, I want to be that graduate who's pursuing politics, maybe as, as a rapper, but I don't want to rap. The rapping uh, politics. Yeah, when I'm old, yeah. <laughs> once I reach 30, I feel like I'm going to be just a grown man. man. Like, I really want to change Usunduza as how people see it right now, mm -hmm. and when maybe I'll be the member of parliament. Um, in the next few years.